Hello, so today we'll be making some rhubarb crisp. And the reason we're doing it today is because it is thunderstorming since 3 a.m. this morning till now, pretty much. Okay, so first you're going to want to add both your rhubarb and strawberry into your bowl. So it's a strawberry rhubarb crisp. Yum! And rhubarb is a popular at this time of year being springtime, right? Yeah. I just the phone Yeah. Just go for it. It's for us. But hopefully those that are watching are going to have a chance to try this soon because rhubarb is only in season for a very short period of time. So if you don't get to it this year, well, there'll always be next year. So what's next? Sugar? Yes, half. <laughs> <laughs> half a cup of sugar? Yeah. And then uh, two tablespoons of flour. So the reason why we're adding uh, sugar is because rhubarb is extremely tart uh, by itself. The strawberries will certainly add some sweetness. Now by chance if you bought some strawberries and they weren't too sweet, you might even want even a little bit more sugar than the, the half cup. Uh, oh, and we started off with three cups of diced rhubarb and three cups of sliced strawberries. So once that's mixed, you can just pour it into the dish beside you. And what do you have there? Cinnamon. Okay. Lightly sprinkling it on. That looks great. This is one of my favorite dishes. It is so delicious. Well, cool. not just rhubarb, strawberry crisp, but also apple crisp is delicious. And then once you have that, you can just mash them together. It's looking really good. So I see you move to a knife, just cutting in the butter, making some nice uh, lumps of the, the oats, the sugar and flour and butter all together. Yep. And it is raining really hard for maybe an hour now. And this morning at 3 a.m. was just crazy. Lightning after lightning. 
three seconds apart, and it was loud and bright. And a cool thing you can do with lightning is, once you see the bolt, start counting like 1,000, 2,000. And how many seconds it is, is how many kilometers it is. So if it's three seconds, the lightning is three kilometers away from you. That's between the lightning and the thunder? Yep. So once you think that's good, sous chef, you can just bring over your strawberries and rhubarb and um, lightly put that on top, spreading it out fairly evenly. So just dump it on? Yep. I think something might be easier to spoon on, whatever you think. Okay, so what are you doing now? Uh, this is the crust of the rhubarb crisp. So you're just going to want to like put it around. The is heavy. It's hard to hold with one hand. Oh, but you have good, you have muscles. I can put it on my fingers. <laughs> It'll be worth all the effort when we have this later for dessert. Yeah. Too bad we can't share with everybody um, who's uh, clicked to watch our video. Just lightly spreading it around. Wow, that looks great. Thank you. All right, here is our crisp ready to go in the oven. Uh oh. I see. Uh, Bit of a gaping spot here. I think our little sous chef came in and took a piece to sample because it is delicious even when it's uncooked.